So I asked the other seniors to go first. Um, I, haven't, I haven't seen too many of these senior speeches, so I wanted to see kind of what the gist of what they're going to say was. So, I mean, it goes without saying that obviously I came here under a separate set of circumstances. Um, but first and foremost, I just want to thank God because the sooner you trust in His plan for you, the sooner you find peace. And, and I'm going to tell you how that translates to my experience. Um, five years ago, I lost in the high school playoffs, early in the playoffs. Um, I had not yet committed to college. I had no idea where I wanted to go. I had no idea where I was going to end up. And I remember I was just crying my eyes out after the game. And I was at home in my bedroom just crying. My mom walked into my bedroom. and. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't contain it. And she told me that I know it feels bad now and I know it hurts, but there's a plan for you and nothing can get in the way of that. And uh, five years later, nobody thought I'd be in this position standing in front of you guys right now. And mom, She texted me today before the game and said, use this game to wash away some of the pain of that one. And mom, I just want to thank you because you couldn't have been more right and you said it at the time I needed it most. So thank you. Um, mom, you've been, you've been so much to me over the past 23 years. You've done everything for me and I couldn't be more thankful and I couldn't ask for a better mother. Uh, while I'm on the family, Dad, I, I can honestly say you are the best father anybody could ever ask for. Just for everything you do for us, me and Aaron and Puff and Braylon, you travel to all of our games, you make sure you put us first, you do everything in your power to give us everything we ever need, and you're the reason I'm standing here today. And I cannot thank you enough. Aaron, Puff, and Braylon, same for you guys. Um, you guys are all so special in, in so many different ways. And uh, your guys' future is so bright, um, maybe in different directions, but it is so bright. And I love you guys so much, more than words can explain. I, I really thought I was going to get through this without crying, I promise you. I, I really did. I guess that's why they talk family last. Um, but to my teammates, you guys, man, you mean the world to me just because I came here from a different school and, and you didn't have to take me in the way you did. But I feel like this is my family. I feel like this is my home. And, and honestly, guys, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. This is one step. This is one step on what we wanted to do. We're not done yet. We got a lot to go. Man, you guys have the best personalities, man. You guys are a great group. We do everything together. I couldn't thank you guys enough either. And uh, man, I'm, I'm looking forward to finishing this thing out the right way with you guys. <laughs> Big May, Hoots, Kendall, uh, I know you guys keep getting lumped together, but man, you guys really are so special to us just because you guys really help us along this road. You know, every, times get tough. Times get tough when you're playing college basketball, and you guys are always there to pick us up, to give us words of encouragement, to tell us where we need, where we need, to, where we need to improve, and you guys serve as a great bridge between the coaching staff and the players. Uh, Coach Fred, man, you, got, you do so much for us, um, and, and it goes back for me to when I first left Pittsburgh. Uh, just the, the amount of work you put in to get me here, everything you did to get me through, um, it's, 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 it's a big reason why I'm here, and I wouldn't be here without it. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, Coach Rob, you, you push us to be our best in areas that we need to improve. And for me, I got here and rebounding was an area I really need to improve. Uh, you got on me for denying passing lanes. And, and those little things, they, 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 they translate to a lot in the game. And you know that, that's why you get on me about it. But it really makes us all better. And I, I thank you for that. I thank you for that. Coach Davis, 
uh, Kenny put it in, in the perfect way. I, I can't say it any better, so I'm just going to say thank you. Um, you really encourage us to be our best selves on the court and off the court, and you really help us through this, through this journey. And you really help us through our, our journey in faith. And I, I said this to you the other day, but I think it needs repeating. It's so easy to get lost on that journey in, in, in college when you're so busy and you've got so much going on. But when you have somebody like yourself and a group of teammates like these guys, and, and they help you with everything off the court, on the court, and they, they help you stay focused mentally and your faith and everything. I mean, it, it's unbelievable, the amount of support. It's unbelievable, and it means the world to us. Thank you. <laughs> Coach Williams. Um, it, it is funny how things play out. I was just talking to Coach Rob, and I told him, I mean, had I not come in here three years ago and hit a couple threes in this building, <laughs> I, I don't know if I would be here right now. But, but, but what's, what stands out the most to me is that when I was going through this whole process, um, when I was deciding a different school to, to come to, I was initially blocked from coming here, as you guys know. I was blocked, I appealed that, and then I was granted the ability to play here, but I would have to sit out a year. But just that gave me the opportunity to talk to the coaching staff. And in those discussions, I, I told them, I, I have two years of eligibility left, I wouldn't necessarily want to sit out the first. But Coach Williams looked me in the eyes and said, son, I truly believe that the right thing is for you to be able to play here for two years, and I truly believe that the right thing will happen in this scenario. I looked at my dad and I said, Dad, how do you have so much confidence to say that to me? And then I said, you know, so many players have come through and trusted you to, to be a father figure, to lead them, and to grow them. And I said, I'm going to put the same trust in you. And since that moment, everything you've done falls in line with that statement. And I can't thank you enough for... I can't thank you enough for molding this team into the group of players and young men that we are. Um, I've played for a couple coaches in college, and, and the way you manage us, the way you push us, the way you coach us is truly unbelievable. It's truly unbelievable. And on, on to my fellow seniors. Uh, you guys really just took me in, and it means the world to me. You guys uh, could have been pretty comfortable, you know, living by yourselves after Justin left, but you brought me in, and you didn't know what you would get, and uh, you guys have been some great roommates. Now, you guys, these are two of the cleanest people I've ever met. <laughs> I mean, you could walk into their room right now, and it would be spotless. Not a shirt out of line, especially Kenny, not a shirt out of line bed completely made. Uh, so they do get on me from time to time because, I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to, to stay up to that standard. Uh, but with that being said, I mean, living in the house with you guys, living in shortbread with you guys has been great. Um, I, I absolutely love you guys as roommates and I love you guys as brothers. And, and the bond that we've created over the past two years, it, it won't be broken. It can't be broken. Um, let's finish this out the right way. Let's finish this out the right way. And, and to the fans, uh, thank you guys so, so much for all of your support day in and day out. Uh, you guys, you really show up, and I mean everywhere. Uh, you guys are everywhere, and, and Tar Heel Nation is strong, it is powerful, and uh, I'm uh, extremely blessed to be a part of it. Uh, Doug and Jonas, I wasn't going to forget about you guys. Um, I came here with a lot of ailments, to say the least. I had a lot of uh, aches and pains that lingered and the amount of care that you guys put in to me getting better. 
Uh, Doug, through all the surgeries, the knee surgery, the two hip surgeries, going to Minnesota four, three, four times to see the doctor and to get that all taken care of, and then to put in the amount of care that you guys did into my rehab and to getting everything that you could better, uh, it's, it, the, the amount of care is, it, it means so much to me. Um, and, you know, I might be 23 now, I might be two years older than I was when I got here, but I feel 10 years younger, and it's all because of you guys. Um, also, to the people in sport administration, all my classmates, I love you guys, uh, and I am extremely blessed to say that I'm a Tar Heel.